Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Peyton. It is nice to meet you. It is nice to see you today. This is why I love Happy Home Paradise. This video, this build, this is why. Because you already saw the title. Would I have ever thought to make a sock store in Animal Crossing New Horizons? No, frankly, I would have not. But now that I have, I think my life is better for it. So that is exactly what we're doing in today's video. Here is our boy Elmer. Look at him. He wants to display his favorite socks like they do in a store. Say less, sock store, sock shop it is, Elmer. Okay, I don't know why. I don't know why you want this, but I... I see nothing wrong with giving this man a nice sock store. So I think that is what we're going to do today. Well, I already know that's that's what we, we do. That is what we do today. Anyway, here we go. Here we go to our little love it or listed consultation. I was not surprised at all by these items. I mean, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. A bustling sto sock store. We've got a little counter. We've got the rolly display thing. And we have some socks, which, you know, just seems to make sense. I'm running out of islands. I know you can double up on islands, okay? But I like to try and use every single location once before I start repeating. So this one was pretty easy. I just picked one of the more rustic ones I have left, which are not many. Not many, but we're doing that. And as always, I always do two floors. This one specifically just called for two floors. I knew we were going to do a sock shop on the bottom floor and we are going to do his living area on top. Maybe one day I'll change it where it's like their home at the bottom and then they have their small business on the top floor. In my head, that just doesn't make as much logical sense. But, you know, does any of it? This horse wants a sock store. Does this make logical sense? I, I don't really know. I, I pick and choose my logic with this game. But anyway, here we are in our lovely, rustic, very fall area. And I ju it just feels right. I knew, I think there are lots of different ways you could make a sock shop, right? I feel like this could have easily been a very kid core thing. But to me, Elmer does not give me kid core vibes. Elmer gives me very rustic woodsy vibes okay maybe maybe because i'm coming off of the european town core island i knew i was doing a wood a woodsy brown elegant this, this is like your father and son sock shop that has been passed down for centuries and that's that's what we are doing here now i will say i absolutely love this shelving wallpaper oh my gosh this is the best wallpaper because once I put the socks on it, it looks just like absolutely right. Thank you, Nintendo, for making this. I've used this before when I decorated Coco's home. Not in Happy Home, but on my actual island. I used this wallpaper and I put gyroids all over the shelves and it just like... It just was absolutely right. I feel like when I do a lot of these business ones, I feel like I do them the same kind of way where I do either <laughs> the checkout counter is in the top right hand corner or it's right in the center. And that is what we're doing today. It's right in the center. And then normally I do like cardboard boxes off to the side and maybe I'm just not creative, but that's, you know, that's how it be. We're hanging some of our socks. I feel like the socks really make it come alive. Like I said, I feel like you could easily do this as a full kid core moment, and I think it would be great. I decided to just have the pops of color be the actual socks. I think there's something nice about having the, I don't know, different range of socks over this pretty neutral wall. It just feels like, I don't know, kind of special to me. I like, I like it. And I, and I like it. I know we're not selling shoes, but you know, I think the shoe boxes make sense. Maybe, maybe there are shoes. Maybe Elmer's going to branch out. You never, you never really know. I will say the only thing I do not like about this build is I wish there was like a different item for the socks. Like I wish I could have done like a pile of socks. You know what I mean? Because I feel like this single sock on these like display rolly counter things kind of looks a little strange but you know what it's fine why we need a mirror to try on socks i don't know but in my head it just makes sense we have some other clothing type items as well again i i think he's starting to branch out i think this started as a sock shop and then he said you know what i have a bustling sock shop business i might as well expand 
Okay, I'm getting a little unhinged, so I'm gonna let you just watch the speed build of this room and I will check back in with you. And there you have it. Oh my goodness, I I just love this. Okay, have I mentioned that I love this? Let's take the, this is the nice slow view, okay. I, tell me you're not gonna buy your socks from this man. Tell me he doesn't make the coziest little socks. Tell me he's not the sweetest man. You come into this little sock shop and you just talk to your buddy Elmer about life and he asks you how your family's doing and he, he cares, you know. He's bringing personalized socks to your wedding and your baby shower. He's just like a nice soul. You know what I mean? Anyway, okay, so moving upstairs. I wanted to continue that cozy vibe, but I, you know, cozy, cozy rustic elegance. Cozy rustic elegance. Here we are using my favorite thing in the world. Is this the first glow in the start glow in the dark sticker build? I think it is. I think it is. This is my first glow in the dark sticker build. Amazing. We finally made it. We have a window. Doesn't it look great? Here I am struggling with it, but I promise it all comes together. Now, I decided to not make the room that that big because I kind of like it feeling like just very quaint and cozy and just, you know, the bare, the bare essentials. And by essentials, I mean lots of luxurious clothing and dressing room items. I feel like he's bringing the fashion upstairs. You know what I mean? I feel like he's got to have his nice closet. He's got to have his full length mirror. It just feels right to me. I'm also doing a little bit of a living area here. I always say I either usually do a living area or a kitchen. I tend to not always do all of it. I try and prioritize what I think is most important to the villager and for for this man, for Mr. Elmer, I felt like having a nice relaxing place kind of felt more the vibe rather than making this whole big thing a kitchen. I will say as I'm doing this voiceover, I have absolutely no recollection of what I put on the other side of the room. So I guess we're going to find out together because I didn't prepare for this. <laughs> Do I ever? Isn't it more fun that way if I just kind of like go with the flow? I think so. I think... I think I dabble with doing a kitchen, but yes, I remember exactly what we do. Okay, I wanted to do a kitchen, but then I was like, no, better idea. What if he's making the socks? What if this man is making the socks and this is where he does it? So this is his nice little work area. He is sewing all of these socks. He is not importing the goods. He is making them from the love in his heart and we absolutely love them for him and he can charge me a million dollars for a pair of socks and I will buy it. And that's pretty much all I have to say about that. So I will let you enjoy the rest of the upstairs build.
there you guys have it. I love it. Have I said that I love it? Because I feel like I haven't said it enough, but I love it. Oh my god, I love it. It's so cute. It is so cute. I want to live here. This man is just slaving away, making some socks for everybody, and just living cute and cozy while he does it and i love it for him and i love every single second of it again i think it captures the vibe of downstairs but it's different enough you know what i mean and that's always my goal now going outside um this is the part of the voiceover where i completely forget what the outside looks like so let's find out together <laughs> Because I, you know, do I plan these in advance? No, no I don't. I remember wanting to keep this very simple though. Maybe because I, I don't know. How am I going to do socks outside? You know what I mean? So I kind of just wanted to keep it like pretty chill. Hinting, there is a store in there, but like, you know. We don't need to put socks everywhere. My way to combat this was to just put like boxes outside, like the delivery man has come. You know I love a barrel. We got some barrels out here too. That's Elmer's bike hanging out over there. I wanted it to feel both like, okay, this is the outside of our business, but also like it's clear someone lives here. Like it's very cutesy like that. So um, that was my, that was my goal. Again, this one's pretty simple. I don't think we do too, too much, but I think it gets the job done. I think it's getting the job done. I'm also starting to be careful of like not using that many custom paths anymore because I'm getting rid of all of the paths that I used to use because I'm starting an all blue island and so I need all blue paths. So I realize that's gonna mess up like every happy home build I've ever done. So I'm trying to like slowly be more cautious and only use the ones I think that I'll keep. Like these little wood ones are always kind of good to have. So hopefully I decide to keep them. Otherwise this has gone to, to total ruin, but otherwise it's fine. You know, let's just pretend it looks good. Throw in some weeds around because why not? I feel like having some weeds around means that you've made it. You know what I mean? Meticulously placing the weeds is like a top design choice. <laughs> anyway, that's the outside. Let's head back inside and get ready for our favorite part of the video. It's montage time. And look at this little outfit I gave him. This just screamed little, little sock salesman to me. I don't know why, but it did. And I hope you think so too. Anyway, here is the montage. Oh, look at his little dance. And there you guys have it. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Like I said, I had so, so, so much fun doing this. So I hope you guys had fun watching along with me. If you guys are new here, please consider subscribing to the channel as I do stream and post Animal Crossing videos and Happy Home Paradise videos. You know, we do all of it here. And if you haven't already, please check out our Discord, our Instagram, all those fun links are down below. And let me know what you think of Elmer's Sock Shop. And what is your favorite kind of sock? I wanna know. I need to know. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>